I wanted to share my thoughts on something that I'm seeing kind of shift in terms of what people find attractive, especially when they're talking about themselves, what they look like. I'm sure you're familiar with this phenomenon, but when people look in a mirror, you see a mirror image of yourself. So what, what I see is not what the rest of the world sees. Everyone sees a flipped version of my face compared to me, and what I look at, I'm like, yeah, I, I, I like that. I like how I look. I do my hair a certain way. Um, I might trim my beard a certain way because of the way I look in a mirror, and then everyone sees the flipped version of that. So you might see a picture of yourself and you're like, whoa, why do I look so weird? Well, it's usually just because it's mirror image. So you can even do that on a, you know, with a computer program or even on your phone, you can flip images. Actually, I don't know if you can do it on an iPhone. That's actually a feature they don't have for some odd reason in the native iPhone app that is, but that's a side tangent. Anyway, you can flip the image and kind of see uh, what you see in the mirror. And usually when you do that for people, they're like, oh yeah, that, that's what I look like. And they don't like how they look in photos or in video. They think they look weird. And, it's just, and everyone else is like, no, that's exactly what you look like. What's wrong? So that's kind of like the standard normal, like, why do I look weird in photos or video? People, like, oh, it adds 10 pounds, whatever. It usually comes down to they don't like the way the opposite mirror effect looks at themselves. And then the more you see it, the more photos you take of the person, the more times they're on video, the more used to seeing that face they are, the more comfortable they get with it. And usually they adapt to it. But the other thing I've noticed that's changing is the whole, uh, what, you know, selfies, right? People are taking close, wide angle pictures of themselves with their phones and they're getting used to seeing that version of themselves. So you might use, when you're doing photo or video work, you might use a longer lens that kind of compresses everything. And traditionally, people like the way that looks. It's supposedly a more flattering image. And I, I agree with that. I don't think there's anything wrong with that. But what I found when taking photos or video, of regular everyday, every, average everyday people is that they're kind of getting used to this wide, close version of themselves, and they might see something that's with like an 85 millimeter lens or even longer and say like, whoa, I, I look weird, I look different. And you can even see this effect, you know, if you wide angle lens, of course, telephoto lens or portrait lens, which is what it would typically be, typically be referred to, um, people, you, you might ask somebody and say, which version do you like of yourself? And I'm sure there's plenty who would like the portrait uh, version of themselves, but I think there's other people who are like, oh, I like the wide angle one because it's kind of what they've gotten used to. You know, they hold the camera a certain way to make themselves look the best in their Instagram selfies or their Facebook selfies, wherever they're posting them. And they're getting used to seeing that. So I, I'm curious to, to see what you guys think if you think this will actually shift in terms of what is considered attractive in photography. Traditionally, you would never do a close-up with a wide-angle lens. In fact, that would be like the last, the most unflattering perspective you could give of somebody. But I think that might be changing. And certainly there are, you know, it's well within reason. You don't want to use like an 11 millimeter on a full-frame camera like super close to somebody. That might not be the most attractive version. But um, a wider angle than a 50 might be what that person is used to seeing. It might be how they want to look in their photos. So let me know what you think. I don't know if you've experienced this, if I'm just crazy and, and this isn't happening, but I think it's something to consider because that whole beauty is an eye beholder, right? You look at history and how the perception of beauty has changed over time and what was, what was handsome in the past, what was beautiful in the past is not always what it is today. And now we have technology that's warping our perception of reality even more. And I'm really curious to see what you guys think because this is kind of like... I don't know, like a new uncharted idea. I haven't heard anyone else talk about it, but I think it could be the next thing where you know photographers might start doing more close-up wide angle type stuff, uh, specifically of people who maybe, I don't know, maybe they get their fame on Instagram, on social media, and that's how they want to present themselves to the world. I don't know, I could be crazy, but uh, let me know in the comments below because I'm happy to answer any questions you might have or just follow up and clarify a particular point.